In this guide, we are going to discuss important requirements, characteristics and properties of commonly used mortars, functions of mortar. Mortar makes a strong bond, which in turn increases the stability of the structure, and distribute the loads evenly. Also, irregular brick dimensions can be corrected with a good mortar joint. When masonry leaks, it is usually through the mortar joints. Resistance to rain penetration depends largely on the strength of the bond between the masonry unit and the mortar. Types of mortar Mortars could be broadly classified as cement mortars, lime mortars, and cement lime mortars. Cement mortar these consist of cement and sand, varying in proportion from 1 is to 8 to 1 is to 3. Strength and workability improves as the proportion of cement increases. Mortars richer than 1 is to 3 are not used in masonry because these cause high shrinkage and do not increase in strength of masonry. Mortars leaner than 1 is to 5 tend to become harsh and unworkable and are prone to segregation. Cement mortars set early and gain strength. Lime mortars. These consist of intimate mixtures of lime as binder and sand, burnt clay, surkhi, cinder as fine aggregate in the proportion 1 is to 2 to 1 is to 3. As a general rule, lime mortars gain strength slowly and have low ultimate strength. Masonry in lime mortar has better resistance against rain penetration and is less liable to cracking. Cement Lime Mortar These mortars have the good qualities of cement as well as lime. Mortars have medium strength, good workability, good water retentively, freedom from cracks, and good resistance against rain penetration. Commonly adopted proportions of the mortar, cement is to lime is to sand, are 1 is to 1 is to 6 and 1 is to 2 is to 9. In rest of the lecture, we will be discussing about cement mortar. Mortar should be in plastic state while being handled by trowel. When mortar is placed between the bricks, it should flow through to all the parts of bricks layers, to remove the air voids. The two main characteristics of mortar are consistency, and workability. Consistency means having fluidity and water attentively. Every time mortar is made, it is the property to hold all the ingredients together. Mix should be good enough to not segregate the mortar components. A strong mortar will have adequate crushing strength as well as adequate tensile and shear strength. Water retentively in mortar. It indirectly is a measure of workability. It is the property that resists rapid loss of water due to hydration and absorbance by masonry units. Ensure enough water is sprinkled on bricks to prevent shrinkage, as bricks tend to absorb water from mortar. Inadequate amount of water will make bonds weak and imperfect. Wet red bricks to control water absorption before applying mortar. Workability that property of freshly mixed mortar which determines these and homogeneity with which it can be mixed, placed, compacted and finished. It is the amount of energy to overcome friction and cause full consolidation. Precautions while mixing Use a mixing try, approximately 10 square feet in size for mixing. Workability of mortar that stiffens due to evaporation by thoroughly remixing it with additional water. Discard any mortar stiffened by initial setting. Use mortar within 2 hours after addition of water. This period of time may require reducing due to temperature and weather conditions. Retempering of mortar. In case the mortar that has stiffened because of evaporation of water, it may be retempered by adding water as frequently as needed to restore the requirements of consistency. But this ray tempering shall be permitted only within 60 minutes from the time of addition of cement. How to check consistency on site? It should be wet enough to prevent it from falling off the trowel. To check its consistency, one should hold it at 90 degree angle and it should not fall. One should be able to spread mortar in uniform thickness. Quality check the consistency can be measured based upon penetration check. For laying walls bricks or blocks, 
90 to 130 mm. For filling cavities, 130 to 150 mm. The working consistency of the mortar is usually judged by the worker during application. The water should be enough to maintain the fluidity of the mortar during application, and at the same time prevent segregation of aggregates from the cementitious material. The quantity of water needed for maintaining consistency will depend upon the type of masonry.